My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how goes it? James, everyone else, how are you? Doing well? A huge week last week. Olympics started. Other a little bit of a sports hole. Uh, your football hold on sports. We're on a hold on the sports. Until now, Super Bowl week. So I'm pretty well. I'm pretty well. Go T. You? I wish I cared about the Olympics. I put it on uh, and then it sucked. Really? What'd you watch? I don't know, but it was like clearly delayed and they were cutting back and forth and it oh, happened already. And production. Just, I caught the, the ski flying event. Oh, yeah. And that's like, a, that's a huge nothing mess. Nothing makes sense. Hap- same thing every year. No, they were like, they were getting points for the wind. I'm like, how's the wind involved? I do love the pose, though. Let's talk about the real sports. It's Super Bowl week. <laughs> Bengals versus Rams. We already talked about that matchup a little bit, but they took it to where there are Bengals and Rams. The Cincinnati Zoo and famous hippo Fiona made her famous Super Bowl pick where she picked Cincinnati. The biggest inside job I've ever fucking seen. The Cincinnati Zoo picked Cincinnati. Wow. Also, Fiona picked Cincinnati. Bengals probably have killed hippos. <laughs> have... A ram. Have a ram ever killed a hippo? No. It's like inside job. I don't know if the Bengals s- killed a hippo. Bengals killed a hippo. Bengals. Bengals. Is there an animal map? Map where all the animals are? Animalfights.com. Zach knows no. about it. He told me last time. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. The goatee is being shaved clean off his face. Wouldn't say clean. It Ow. would be a much easier shave if you used manscaped. Here's a trial of how not to shave. Ow. Oh, see? Manscaped, none of that. Probably just leave the bottom, though. Yeah, you look great now. It looks better. It looks better. 100%. Jimmy, can you tell us about this so, almost breakdown? This actually came across my Twitter feed this morning. This morning. This morning. A player, I think is a shortstop. I'm not sure. He, tra- he fights the ref. I don't know where we are. Some of the replies on Twitter said it was the DR, but... The ref, who's actually an ump. Wow, dude. You're on my ref kick. Yeah, Jake's been calling ump's refs, and it's been kicking my ass. Damn. The ump's smaller. It's little David Goliath. That's what the original caption had from the player. Player looks like Puig's size. He's big. Ump looks like your size. He's got shoulders on him. The ump didn't stand down. And the best part about this video is if you watch his teammates, none of them move an inch None of them want to stop him from doing this. None of them want to get involved. I think uh, they're like, eh, fuck that guy. I'm tired of tired of dealing with his crap. So the opposing team has to come to the umpire's aid. The ump didn't really want it. The ump was throwing as well. And then uh, the first base coach or that player gets the worst of it. Only one on the ground. First man in to try and break it up. The ump, uh, kudos to our shorter king. He survived. He did enough. And Jim, you you just barely notice it at the end, but he gets pulled away and he actually has one more shot to escalate things a little bit. But he, in that moment, realizes I've done enough and enough people are here to separate the fight. He just wanted to go need, the distance. I don't need to escalate this anymore. Yeah. I've done my part. So. And he knows it was a bad call. Oh, it was a bad call. It was a horrible call. It was a bad call. He wasn't watching. I want to be. Actually, speaking of umpires, I got a text from Jake last night, Zach. No. Yeah, I got a Jimmy. text from Jake last night Jimmy. in an in invisible. Ink. It's invisible ink. You can't share that. And it said, I'm sure I'm going to wish people on a prime. Anyway, Jake hates umps. Which brings us right back into the sports. That's not true. Uh, a little true. <laughs> Jim, more sports speaking. There's probably some ref umps at this event. Ugh. Competitive eater defeats giant bunny in salad eating contest. Zach was at this. This is how we found out about it. Uh, Reina Fun Huang row. faced off against Honey, a lettuce loving mega bunny. Good sentence. Yeah, so this was interesting. Hang not normally in the competitive eating on the salad side. They lined it up. Hang started going. Honey froze up because it was a giant bunny in front of a crowd of people. Didn't take a bite. Brought out a second bunny. Also did not take a bite of lettuce. Second bunny's name was Precious. Yes. Everything about this story kind of blues yeah. because the sal the the rabbit handler lewis moses that name is fire so yeah. not everything about this story no, blows. yeah i actually am a fan of lewis moses lewis He's moses like, fucked uh, your mom lewis ro, ro, lewis moses breeds rabbits fucks your mom fucks your mom hard. Uh, he goes i'm not surprised by the result rabbits are not scarfers 
They're not like dogs and just scarf it down quickly. They're nibblers. They nibble all day, all night. They eat decent amounts, but over a period of time. So, Lewis, you cashed in knowing these rabbits weren't going to show. The rabbits protested because they're like, I'm not part of your circus. And then the woman just sat alone and ate 10 pounds of salad in three minutes or whatever it was. What gets missed here is- What did you do? You just had people watch you eat salad fast. Lewis Moses, uh, he said rabbits are not scar. You said this quote. We could even rewind it. Rewind it. Rabbits are not scarfers. They're not like dogs. What we miss there is Lewis Moses, he follows up every sentence with the phrase, they're not like dogs. They're not like dogs. Anytime he talks about his giant bunnies, they're not like dogs. They're not like dogs. So don't fucking compare them, okay? You just, oh, ugh. This is oh, a, it's pulling. Put a giant logo over his face that says "Not like this." So yeah, I mean, everyone lost here besides the rabbits and Lewis Moses, obviously. Remember? Honey and Precious and Lewis Moses and your mother. They basically held an exhibit against the restaurant and the eater. Like, look at these idiots. Speaking of mothers, Jim, this not sports kind of cool. ties into mine. No, this isn't about mothers at all. Build Bears now making sex toys. This isn't about my mom at all. How does my mom dress me? Like a like a G rated build a bear, and now uh, build a bear. You no, know that's not true. Yeah, that yeah. G rating was light. No, G rated. Seen me? Paddington the bear. That's your own clothes. When your mom picks out, it's as my much mom fabric picks as out some slutty clothes oh, for me. Build a bear launches after dark series of horny teddy bears. So they posted it said wink wink. Our gift shop is full of gifts for adults too. I don't know what's going on here. It sounds like they shove flashlights up teddy bears and are selling them in the public, but it might just be like they got silly shirts on. There was one in like a sultry like in front of the fireplace outfit that again for what build a bears out about it's pushing it a little far i guess they're trying to get those valentine sales i don't get it because they're just the same teddy bears with like a shirt that says i love wine on it what does the shirt say i love wine bob dylan fetch me my wine well dueling uh, dylan's that's me and zach's band's name go check us out dueling dylan's yeah click the link here Wonder what that link's gonna go to. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Do you want Zach to sit here and do it for me? In both seats. Do you want to sit and do dueling Dylan for me? I don't know about that. Oh, he's out. Huh? Huh? Mike Sweat. Employee of the week goes to Matthew Messina. Eminem. Eminem, because he said, ah, let's do a Wordle video. And then he orchestrated the entire thing and then edited the entire thing. And it went up. Jimmy's and a Wordle pro. Wordle pro. Yeah. Today's word on Wordle is, have you played yet? No. Close your ears. No, dude. This is yesterday's episode anyways. So today is a lie. Cl- uh, uh, I don't mon- want you lying to the Monday's people. word was. Come on, dude. <laughs> That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Manscaped. Don't be dumb and shave your face like Jake did on today's show. Use code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. Get 20% off plus free shipping. They just launched their ultra premium collection and believe it or not, it's for your not so private parts. I'm talking about a leveled up hygiene routine with your favorite manly scent. All in one skin and hair care kit for every day, every man. For every day, every man, manscaped.com, code DUMB20. Wordle. Wordle. Hasn't gotten connected to the Elena Billy Eichner video enough because she says Wordle. Yeah. Wow. I, I haven't seen anyone do that yet. Wordle. That's the, one of the funnier. thought you said th- Wordle <laughs> for Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good clip.